try not to get scared. Did I get you? Okay. Yes, today we're gonna be checking out some scary videos. And you already know. Boy, you better get that out of here. Everybody, please just do it now. Click the subscribe button. It'll really help out the channel. Go ahead and do it. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Okay, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. And yeah, comment down below something scary. You can put the apocalypse, you can put zoo animals, or you can put your face. Let me know. And let's go. Uh oh. Oh, it's the shoe bill bird. Oh, it looks so cute and cuddly. Look at the shoe bill. <laughs> oh, L. What? What? Did you just transform? Ah! You eat your own kind? Look at the shoe bill. You're eating a duck? That's cannibalism. Don't you think that's crazy? <laughs> like, come on. You should be looking out for each other, not not eating. Oh, maybe it's just its son. That's his baby, maybe. And it's just trying to carry it across the grass. <laughs> or it's trying to eat it. You wanted to know more about Cherie Glenn, and I found you more. No, this was the leaked booking photo of Cherie Glenn, one of America's most infamous cannibals from the 80s. So much of her story in these case records had been sealed from the public because it was deemed too disturbing to print. In this booking photo, it was sealed. This is a leak. I did have somebody submit another leaked photo of this photo. It's just from a closer angle. Like I said, there's not really much that's publicly known because so much of her case was actually sealed. The rumors of the story was that the case was so bizarre and so horrific in the cannibalistic practices that it was difficult at the time to find a jury that could stand it. Descriptions of not only her consuming victims, but forcing victims to consume parts of her. Somebody also reached out and tracked down what they think might be a yearbook photo of her from the 70s. By no means is it 100% confirmed, but it does look really similar to her. It's 100% in the eyes. Can you imagine if you graduated with her? <laughs> I mean, jeez. Like she was in your class and then you find out she gets taken in for, for, for cannibalism. I'd be like, no wonder she kept looking at my arm. She was like, mm, that looks good. That's disgusting. It's not like there's not a McDonald's across the street. You could have had KFC, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Chipotle, Raisin Cane's, good breaded already cooked chicken. But instead you want some raw human meat. You're nasty. Can I some kitty cat chips? I know you have kitty cats. I see them in your window. What the heck? No, thank you. They don't have that. Oh my gosh. Is your door unlocked? Um, no, it's double bolted. What? Wrong way. You want some kitty cat treats? <laughs> no. Do I look like a feline? Do I look like a dang cat? I don't know what's going on, man. Girl, girl, you better not show up at my door. I guarantee you I'll dump leftover soy sauce on your head. I'll be dropping egg rolls from the second floor right onto your split ends. Just don't knock on my door. That's all. That's all I ask. Unless you're selling Girl Scout cookies. If you're selling Girl Scout cookies, I'll take me a dozen. Both fingers. Magic trick, Is David Blaine. Shut up your hands, up my hands, can you see the shadow? Yes. Okay, once you want to see, take your hands away. One, two, three. Oh, it's time to go. Girl, it, it, it's over. It's, uh, just leave. See, that's where you white people be messing up, okay? Soon as something creepy happens, man, I swear, if I hear the washing machine go off, I'm, I'm out, I'm leaving. Up, oh, time to go. You see your hands are away from the table, but the shadow stayed? Mm. At least be happy your shadow hands didn't give you like a thumbs up. <laughs> and I was just like, hey, girl, you better take your butt to the clinic. I don't know why I said the clinic. Get yourself checked. I don't know. This was the last photo ever taken on Chelsea McPherson's camera before she went missing. So just outside of Seattle in 2004, high school junior Chelsea McPherson's teachers noticed something was wrong with her. For one, it appeared like she just entirely stopped sleeping. She apparently mentioned to a friend that every time she fell asleep, she said that she saw the image of a clown that she referred to as Mr. Bubbles. Don't talk about me like that. <laughs> I'm not a clown. Her English teacher also reported that she was constantly looking outside of the classroom window as if something was out there watching her. Police evidence gathered after her disappearance show that her notebooks were full of sketches like this with what police now believe to be Mr. Bubbles. Ew. October 4th, 2004 was the last night anyone saw Chelsea. The last text sent from her phone was to her friend saying, I'm tired of being afraid. And now, 
Are you serious? I'm tired of being afraid. I ain't never gonna be tired of being afraid of that. Not you, girl. Not not you. Not you. The, the clown that's behind you. Had to clarify. If you're gonna be tired of being afraid, I mean, at least you, you better win the battle. <laughs> you can't be talking trash, talking smack, and then get taken out like that. Do people still hire clowns at birthday parties? Is that still a thing? Or do they just hire like like people dressed like Elmo, hitting the gritty and doing dances all up at the birthday parties? This is what spider season looks like in Australia. What? That's an octopus, you dummy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, all right, all right. If that's real, then uh, then I'm moving to Mars. I'm out of here. But you can't say this is what spider season looks like and you got a dang octopus crawling. But octopu octopuses do have like the eight little tentacle things and then uh, spiders do have eight legs. So yeah. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. We good. Bro, that's not a spider. That's a lawsuit. Okay, I mean, I guarantee you I'm getting the sledgehammer. I'm just going whoosh. Get the flamethrower at that point. It's gotten out of hand. Somebody call Spider-Man, tell him to get his cousin up on out of here. Does anyone know what this is? Oh, that's an alien. Oh, look at that. Or it's some creepy balloon. Ew, shoot it out of the sky. What the heck? Okay, yeah, no, no, nobody knows what that is. Girl, you better get the sniper and just start, uh, pop, pop. I bet you it is a balloon, but like somebody, they put like some like stringy things over the balloon to make it look like that. It looks like a squid in the sky, making me think that I'm high. 2 a.m. The wife just woke up, said she thought someone was playing in her back shed. Mm -mm. I hope not, because it's almost falling apart. It wouldn't be very safe, but I'm going to come out here and have a look around, see if any of the neighborhood kids oh, are going to investigate. Let me get quiet here for a second. Nice trampoline. <gasps> Black man! Wait. <laughs> oh, it's time. We, we gone. We gone, man. Keep running. Just go. Don't stop. If you see this, man. What are you doing next? You're from the country. You should have gotten the shotgun or, or something. Somebody just chilling, s sitting up there, shooting the breeze. What are you doing, man? Playing Uno by yourself? <laughs> I bet you I'd toss a grenade up there and then oh, a boom, problem solved. Solved your mama? Yeah, I'm still working on it. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.